Hey everybody! It's Christopher Travels. How you doing? Well, I'm getting out. I'm off today. And I'm actually going to pick up something someone gave me for Christmas. Um, Marie, you're amazing. Thank you for the most awesome Christmas present ever. Well, one of the most awesome Christmas presents. Uh, so I, I'm going to Home Depot. I'm going to be picking it up. And yeah. But I wanted to show you the last couple days have been very wintry. And our local mountains here, let me show you ahead of me, are just covered in snow. And this mountain barely got snow you know there's some tall mountains over there they get snow these are some local mountains local mountains to go to Home Depot I gotta go that way <laughs> on the other side of those mountains actually on the other side of those mountains is where I'm going so yep but it's absolutely beautiful today. So I'll take you through the uh, terrain since the snow and everything we've had. It's not too bad. Gosh, that mountain ahead, it is beautiful. There's a truck. They better not come down here. They better keep going. What are they backing up for? I'm gonna stop. You better not come this way. There's nowhere to go. Don't turn this way. No. You can't go this way. What do you think you're doing? Do you live back here? Haven't seen any sand hills around, have you? They're around everywhere. They are? Yeah, they come in in the morning and leave around 5 30. Okay. And when do they come back? In the mornings around like 7 a.m. So they're around here right now. Mm. But they're over by the golf course over there. Okay. So, and this is a dead end right. back there. So. But uh, around the lake, you should be able to, they fly right over the lake. Okay? So they do some feeding around the, the golf course, or? Yes, there's a couple ponds over there that they really like. Mm. So. Cool. Okay. Do, do you have to go into the golf course to get that, or? No, actually, right before the cattle guard, uh -huh. turn right, there's a, um, where you can view birds. Yeah. You can go down there, and the the little ponds are right there. Cool. Okay. Thanks for the info. No problem. All right. 
still there looking for the sand hill cranes. Anyway, I didn't I don't get too much traffic around my area because they just don't go back there and uh, when I do it's just someone that's lost so because the locals they usually like going around to other places that are not there <laughs> There's a dry lake, and they like to go do donuts over there, and yeah. So. But we're going to have a lot of visitors coming up, because uh, they have this thing called Wings Over Wilcox. It's in January, and it's very very popular people from all over the United States come and view the the birds and everything so yep I'm gonna go to Home Depot I'll see you soon Okay, so I got all the pieces out for the um, water heater enclosure, and here's the box. It's by Holdright, and it seems like pretty <laughs> simple instructions. So I think what I'm going to do is I have... <clears throat> the concrete left over. I'm gonna make a concrete slab. So, yeah, that'll be nice. And I got plenty of wood to uh, make the. <clears throat> it's called. You know, the frame for the slab. Man, that's beautiful. <laughs> the sun just went down. There's still snow up there. So, <clears throat> anyway, so I'll show you it built. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm going to start doing the slab. I've got to attach this board, these boards, and it's actually pretty level already. It's good enough for this use, and I think I'm going to use some of the small rocks my friend Tony uh, brought me. And I'm going to put them in the bottom there, smooth them out, and then go ahead and pour the cement slab. For this, um, it shouldn't be an issue not having rebar in there because it's so small. Um, but I'm going to look around and see if I possibly have anything that could that's metal that could strengthen it just to laying there but if not it's not a big deal so anyway let me get to it okay so i put together this um water heater thing and it's very flimsy, so, I mean, 
uh, you know, Home, Home Depot couldn't keep it from getting bu buckled in some places, but I don't have it attached to the wall yet, which I'm going to do shortly, but there it is. I'm going to attach it real quick, and then I'll show you what it looks like after. Okay, so <clears throat> I got some screws in it, and yeah, that's not going anywhere, but it is loose at the bottom. So I am going to have to secure it somehow down there. So, and then I stepped on it and it just crumbled. Did I not get enough water in the cement? Ugh. But it's okay, you know. Now I'm going to put the door on. And then uh, eventually, I'm going to put some uh, insulation on the sides. The um, board insulation, not the styrofoam, because that can melt if it gets too hot. But the closed cell board in insulation with the, um, it's like a, a foil on both sides. I had two inch of that in Frankie actually. Uh, oh, you can't see Frankie, but the sun's going down. I'm going to get the door on real quick. So bear with me. Okay. So I got the door on and I just need to, it's just bent in a couple places, but it just stays on there. You lift it up and then pull the bottom out there. So, but it's pretty secure. So, that'll be good for now. I just have to secure it down to the cement and I can do that eventually. So, but that looks pretty cool. Let me step back a little bit. <laughs> There we go. Nice. Let me come over here. Hold on. The sun's going down. <laughs> there it is. It's pretty cool. I hear like gunshots from, you know, and way in the distance. But yeah, that's pretty cool. So thanks, Marie. This is a really awesome Christmas present. Thank you so much. Anyway, I don't know if you could see me, but uh, thank you for being with me, everybody. I love you all. Live your dreams. Live life to the fullest. I'll see you soon. Bye.